Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana, welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, this channel is all about SMS Beauty, which is skincare, makeup, sunscreen. We do kind of a lot of the third one because that's really the basis of this channel. And again, today we are doing sunscreen. So buckle up, I was gonna say strap in, that sounds weird. Sit down, buckle up, get ready. We're going over sheer mineral sunscreens today. Some of them are brand new, some of them I think are not so new, but I don't hear them talked about. So I wanted to kind of bundle them all in. We have four sunscreens that we'll be going over today and they kind of do operate similarly, which is why I'm grouping them together. Also, I'm gonna be putting half on each side. So I'll do one here, one here, wash my face, then do the same. If I did the entire thing on my face, it would just kind of start to irritate my skin. So I'm just protecting my skin a little bit if that's what you're wondering. But I will be talking through all of the specs of all of these sunscreens, telling you which ones I love, which ones eh, maybe pass on, all those types of things. So if you're excited, interested, give it a big old thumbs up, consider subscribing and let's go. Okay, I'm not gonna go in any particular order today, but I am gonna probably just tell you off the bat, this is my favorite. <laughs> so I'm not starting because it is, it's just the first one that I'm picking up. So this is the Murad Correct and Protect Serum Broad Spectrum SPF 45 PA++++ sunscreen. <laughs> we'll just call it the Correct and Protect, even though that's a mouthful. So. And I am gonna be using my quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna be trying to fill it about halfway. So of course that's not an exact science, but that is what I'm trying to do just because I do believe it's so important to show using the correct amount. And since I'm applying it to half of my face, I'll be using half the teaspoon. So let's zoom in, put it on my face. This does come with a dropper bottle. So usually what I like to do when I'm first trying it is make sure I know exactly how many drops it takes to fill this up. And it's usually with this kind of dropper, I would say like two to three. So if you want to be overly cautious, use three or two should work. But I'm going to just use one because that is getting it about half full. So we're just doing one side of my face again. So that's about one layer. And as you can see, and I always say this, I think it's best if you go in in thin, small layers. Not everybody does this. Um, some people think like they just put it on their face and if it doesn't work, it won't work. I mean, sure, if that's like your logic, you can do that. I understand that idea. Um, I don't like sunscreens that pill for that reason. But I think if you do have sensitive skin and you need a mineral sunscreen, but you maybe have a darker skin tone, you know, sometimes you gotta play by the rule or not play by the rules, that's not what I'm trying to say, but you have to kind of like adjust a little bit. So if you do want to have a better shot of it not having a white cast, just try this method. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work. But I don't know, I get a little annoyed when people just say it doesn't work and they just plop it on their face. Okay, so that is the two layers, just doing it on half of my face. And as you can see, I've got a nice little glow. I've worn this quite a few times. This is actually, like I said, one of my very favorites at the moment um, as for a mineral sunscreen. And it does take a little bit of time to rub in, but really not that bad. And I would just focus on the edges of my hair and maybe my eyebrows. That's where it tends to have a little bit more of a cast, but that's what it looks like. And on the other side, I'm gonna be using the Beekman 802 Primer, Milk Primer SPF 35 Sunscreen Primer. You do need to shake pretty much all of these, I would recommend. This one takes a few more squirts than the Murad one to get about a half 
of this one. But again, you're gonna be using a full quarter teaspoon for your full face. So as you can see, I don't have a huge cast on either side. If I'm going to say that I have a little bit more, I have the more on the Beekman side versus the Murad. The Murad is pretty much invisible at this point. But yeah, so let's get into the specs of both of them, okay? Okay, so the Murad is $69. Like I said, you get one fluid ounce. It's SPF 45, PA++++, plus 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 plus. so that's the highest um, UVA protection that you can get and it's 17% zinc oxide. So really good amount of protection. I love to see both a high protection in UVA and UVB and a pretty high percentage of zinc oxide. It's also a serum format as you saw both of them are. And they really say that this is a two in one. Um, actually both the Beekman and this one say that. It's basically supposed to be your serum and your sunscreen and I do believe that. Now, if you have very dry skin, you're probably gonna want a moisturizer as well but this is kind of supposed to eliminate some steps in your process. This one has more of a satin, a little bit radiant finish, but as you can see, I think the Beekman side actually gives you a little bit more glow, not noticeably different, and it's gonna fade throughout the day. Neither one of them are going to leave you glowy and dewy all day, at least not with my skin. I do have more normal, sometimes oily, sometimes dry, kind of depends on the weather. In the summer, I have more oily skin. In the winter, I have more dry skin. But for the most part, I would say my skin is pretty normal. So this one does not have any scent to it. And it also has what I consider to be one of the best, like lack of a cast for a mineral sunscreen. Both of them, I say it's due because it's due in part to the fact that they have a fluid nature. So it's definitely due in part to the fluid nature of them. When you have a thicker, creamier mineral sunscreen, you're just gonna get more of a cast, in my opinion. So if you're looking to like lessen that, I would say go for a fluid one. Okay, but let's get, I got a little off track. So this one is supposed to be, they call it UV responsive carotenoid technology that absorbs and reflects UVA and UVB light. I love to hear them say that because a lot of times with mineral sunscreens, Companies always say that it just completely reflects UV light. A lot of companies just say that it, um, a mineral sunscreen reflects UV light instead of absorbs it, and that's not entirely true. While the majority of it does reflect UV light, it does absorb some, just like a chemical sunscreen. So hearing Murad say that was like, oh, love it, chef's kiss. There's also beetroot extract, which is supposed to help with the long lasting hydration, which is kind of why they like built it up as a serum and sunscreen as one. So overall, I have been loving this one. I took it on vacation with me. That's a big plus. Um, it comes in glass packaging. It is pricey though. It's $70. Let's just call it what it is. Whereas the Beekman is $25. So yeah, let's get into the Beekman though. <laughs> okay, so this is supposed to be a milk primer. And they do say milk because a lot of the Beekman products have goat milk in them, which is supposed to be kind of like their hero ingredient. And I have no problem with that at all. Now, of course, if you have like an allergy, maybe don't go for it. But this one is $25 for one fluid ounce, which is amazing. I feel like I thought it was 35, but even if it's $35, in my notes I have 25 and maybe I wrote that wrong. But even if it is 35, it's still half the price of the Murad, half. And you can also get a travel size, which is about, I think, half a fluid ounce, and that's for $13, so it's a good way to test it out. This one has a little bit of a scent. I can't put my finger on exactly what it is. It might be from the, like, the goat milk, but I don't think it's like an added fragrance in the term, like the sense of like fragrance in it, but that is something to consider. And then this one has 13% zinc oxide. So we have 17% zinc oxide, 13%. You also are getting a bit of a lower coverage. This is only SPF 35, and it doesn't say anything about PA, so like your UVA. So this one is a bit higher in protection. If that's something that's important, this one is the one. But this one is also supposed to be weightless, 
totally invisible, which I'm like, I don't know, maybe don't say that. <laughs> and then they say it's fragrant tree, but again, like there is some scent to it. It doesn't smell like just normal mineral sunscreen. So one of those things, maybe test out, make sure it doesn't irritate your skin. And kind of like the Murad, this one is supposed to be a two in one. Whereas this is supposed to be a serum and sunscreen, this is supposed to be a sunscreen and primer for makeup. And I would say both of them really are gonna work really well for if you're gonna be putting it on underneath makeup. They have a little bit of a tacky finish, not anything too overwhelming in my opinion. And they kind of have this like, I call it more like a natural radiant finish. The Beekman calls it a velvet matte finish. I don't know if I would say it's matte at all, but maybe on different skin types it is. I would just call it like a natural finish for both. And one of the things that I did want to point out with the Beekman, so they put goat milk in a lot of their products, I think all of them, and that's supposed to help with trans epidermal water loss. So if you are somebody who wants to have like some kind of moisturization, but not a super heavy moisturizer, this is probably a good option for you, maybe more so even than the Murad, because some of those ingredients are going to help like with the longer term hydration. It does have a beautiful ingredient list. I was looking through it and it's just like one after the next, really great properties. I did see bentonite clay in there, which might account for how they kind of consider it to be a little matte. I don't see matte and I'm not, normally if there's a lot of bentonite clay, I would feel it more kind of like immediately and I'm not seeing that. So it must be a very small percentage. But overall, these are definitely my two favorites of this bunch and kind of like two of the non-tinted mineral sunscreens that I'm gonna be reaching for the most. Obviously very different in price and maybe what you're looking for, but I would highly suggest either one of them, kind of depending on what you want. Okay, I'm gonna wash these off and then I'm gonna put the next round on, BRB. Next up, we have two. We have the Babo Botanicals. This is Daily Sheer Fluid Mineral Sunscreen, SPF 50. And then the Dr. Andrew Whale for Origins Whale Wild, I'm not sure. Mega Defense SPF 45. So let's try them on both sides of my face. It's about, we'll call it a half a teaspoon, half a quarter. <laughs> what is that, an eighth? I'm just gonna warn you with this one, I would say go in with a, as small of amount as you can at first and then blend it and then do another layer, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, this was the Babo side. I just wanted to point out before I put on the Origins one, there's a white cast, like it's a noticeable difference. And this was, it took a lot longer to rub in. I had to make sure to go in the thinnest layers. It's just gonna have more of a cast unless you have a very light skin tone. But now let's try the very last one. This is the Dr. Weil for our Origins. Do I look a little bit Caspery? Yeah. I am blending this as much as I can, but I'm gonna give up soon. Uh, 
Okay, my contact is all weird in this eye. This is as much as I can blend it in. This is what both of these kind of do. There's not a lot of ways around it for getting less of a cast. I think both of them are gonna give you much more of a cast than the first two that I mentioned. And now my contact is completely gone. Okay, let's go through the specs of both of them. So this is SPF 50. It retails for only $19 or $20, $19.99, which is gonna be the cheapest option out of any of these. And you're also getting 1.7 fluid ounces, which is 50 milliliters, which is also the most out of any. So if you're looking for the best deal, this is it. I do have another video on other drugstore options for mineral sunscreens. I would say that this is probably comparable to some of the better ones in that, um, but I don't think it's necessarily better than those. I think it's just another option. So they call this one ultra light liquid flawless finish without a greasy feel. And I would definitely agree that it doesn't have a greasy feel. I don't think any of these really go on greasy. They are very fluid, but um, not overly like moisturizing or hydrating per se. This one, it does say that it's lightly tinted and it even says it on the bottle. And I'm not really seeing that. I mean, maybe like a very slight tint, but not like a tinted sunscreen by any stretch. They also say that it provides a healthy glow and minimizing cast that works well under makeup. So I think that's really great messaging to kind of provide. Not saying that it's invisible, not saying that it's sheer, not saying that it's like any one like extreme, and also that it works well under makeup and that you may be kind of hinting at the fact that you might need makeup to cover up a little bit of the cast. So I actually really like, and I think this is one of the most honest descriptions of a brand I've seen so far. Both of them, I think all of them except, well, the other two didn't, but both of these you definitely need to shake really well before using, that is important. I have tried with the Balbo, I tried to like put it on my hand before I shook it and it comes out almost like separated, so make sure to shake. There's no smell for this one with the Babo, but it definitely has a cast. Like you can see my skin tone on my body is much darker than my face. And I don't think I had that with the first two. This is definitely something of these two that give a little bit more of a cast, so be careful. So this one has what they call clean ingredients. I'm not gonna go into that right now, but you know, you know about it. But I do think that this one out of all of them might be the best option if you have really sensitive skin and especially if you do have a lighter skin tone because it could work better than a deeper skin tone the origins one that i'm going to get into is probably my least recommended for sensitive skin or if you're sensitive to scents this one because it doesn't have a scent it's really great in that option but it does take a little bit more rubbing and if you have sensitive skin sometimes it's not just about the filters or the scent it's about how much rubbing you have to do on your face so if that is you, one of the first two options that I gave the Murad or the Beekman would be better than these two. I forgot to mention, this one has a whopping 20.6% zinc oxide. So it's the highest amount of zinc oxide. It's also the highest protection. You're getting SPF 50. The Murad has 45, the Beekman has 35, and then this one has 45. So if this is what, if that's important to you, this is the cheapest, highest protection and the most amount of zinc oxide, very important. Now let's move on to the Origins one. I was expecting a lot from this. It's not cheap. It's $46, which is kind of like in that super goop mid-range brand or price range. Um, Origins is kind of a clean beauty brand. And I just was expecting maybe more than I got. <laughs> so this one is $46. Like I said, you only get one fluid ounce. It's tiny, which, you know, that's the size actually doesn't matter. How much product is in does matter though. And then for this, you have 6.3% zinc oxide and 4% titanium dioxide. So again, mineral, but this is the only one that has titanium dioxide. All of the others are just zinc oxide. What I do not like about this is it's pretty highly fragranced. It says that it has a floral scent. I think it's a rose, but it also has a ton of essential oils. And I typically can't really like notice it on my face. I don't have sensitivity to fragrances, but my eyes kind of like, I can feel it more because it's, it's more fragrance than anything else, especially mineral sunscreens. You typically feel like brands know that people who are using mineral sunscreens don't want it highly fragranced. And this one is highly fragranced. So I'm not really a fan of that part of it. Um, they do say it's feather white and it's 100% mineral sunscreen. These all are. And the finish for this, I think for both of them, 
I would say the Babo is a little bit more of a like tending, like going toward the matte side of things, whereas this really depends on what you have underneath. And that's the case for a lot of sunscreens. I don't have any skincare on underneath these. So they're kind of just looking like what they would, what my skin looks like at the moment. So you are seeing with the Babo side, there's just a little bit less of a glowy like sheen to it. So this is a good option if that's something you're looking for. The origin side has a bit more of a glow to it. It's not so radiant that I'm gonna be like blinding people with my skin, but it's also something I would cover because I can't wear this alone because of the cast. Both of them have, both, actually all four of them are very easy to spread. They're all that fluid nature, which is exactly why I reviewed all together. And I think kind of depending on what you're looking for and what you're willing to pay, that kind of thing, they're all going to work. Maybe not on all skin tones. They definitely have a cast. Like it's just what it is. But if you're looking for one that has less of a cast, I would definitely recommend either the Beekman or the Murad. The other two, eh. I'm probably not gonna be reaching for, they're just not something that I like, I don't wanna have to fight with this. I can already see the cast on the edges of my hair and in my eyebrows, that kind of thing. So I think that about covers it. They do have a nice finish. I do appreciate, especially with the Babo, that you can find a mineral sunscreen that is a bit more matte. So that is one thing I would consider if that's something that's important. I think that's special about this as opposed to some of the others. But we're gonna wrap it up right here and <laughs> I'm gonna probably wash my face because I don't wanna look like Casper all day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.